What is going on guys? We're showcasing the newest SMG to make it into the medic class today. The Type 100 is a Japanese submachine gun that you will find already unlocked for your company. It's part of the two weapons that made it into the medic class for our Pacific Theater update. My first impressions for this new gun has me pretty impressed on how its all around performance is. However, there's one major flaw for this new gun that keeps it in check. So we'll talk more about that here in a little bit. But let's first start off with some notable highlights for this new SMG. The first is its rate of fire. It has a 720 rate of fire, which is on the higher end out of all the SMGs. To show how fast this really is, it ties the M1928A1 stock with its 720 rate of fire. Of course, the M1928 does have the specialization to buff its rate of fire to make it even higher, and the Type 100 does not, but regardless, the 720 rate of fire is fast enough to beat out most of the weapons on the battlefield. It does only have a 30 round magazine. You'll see this magazine noticeably sticking out of the side of the gun, making it look very similar to the ZK383, with not just its magazine positioning, but the bipod both of these guns have as well. The Type 100 performance, in my opinion, is much more like the ZK383, but without having that awful 514 rate of fire the ZK383 has, making it tied for the worst performing rate of fire out of all the machine guns. Something that, in my opinion, definitely helps out a lot, especially when you're playing with a gun that is so close to combat in nature. The Type 100 brings over a much appreciated higher rate of fire, similar to the M1928, but without all the accuracy and control problems the M1928 has. The gun stock is controllable and accurate enough where you almost don't even feel like you're shooting a gun this fast. Because of that high rate of fire, you can at times find yourself unloading most of your clip on one enemy player. You don't have the luxury of having the M1928's 50 round magazine or even the ZK383's 40 round magazine given you have its extended magazine specialization equipped. So though your 30 round magazine isn't the worst out of all the SMGs, it still requires you to be landing your shots accurately on enemy players you're battling. Fortunately, like I mentioned earlier, the gun's control and accuracy is not all too bad. Yes, you're going to notice comparing this gun's stats for the rest of the SMGs that it doesn't have the best control or accuracy out of all of them, but it can still hold its own. And depending on how you choose your specializations, you can get pretty close in having either some of the best accuracy or control out of all the SMGs. And remember, this is all while having superior rate of fire to all those other guns with superior control or accuracy. So when you see how well it competes with guns like the ZK383 or the MP40, but all while having a higher rate of fire, it's actually a pretty impressive weapon. But let's go to the major downfall for this gun, the one thing that will stand out the moment you compare it to the rest of the SMGs, and that's its damage. It has the worst damage out of all the weapons for its class. So right before we're about to have probably the best SMG in the game, its low damage has us looking at it completely differently. It makes much more sense now why this gun has a high rate of fire while needing to be stable and accurate as well. Because you need to make sure not only are you landing your shots accurately, but you're doing it fast as you can because the punch for this weapon is not impressive at all. This gun is the ultimate 99 damage weapon. I was finding myself more than usual getting 99 damage, 98 damage, all because again this gun lacks the normal damage output we're accustomed to with the SMGs. Now, it's not the end of the world. I don't think it makes it stand out as the worst SMG, but I'm not sure if I'd call it the best. It is very well rounded with a nice rate of fire, but all that is needed to make up for its low damage output. So I guess that's DICE's way of keeping this weapon balanced because if it had a higher damage of any sort, it would probably be the best SMG in the game. When it comes to its specializations, even though we're seeing the same SMG specializations from before, there's actually a lot of ways you can change up this gun due to its well-balanced control and accuracy stats stock. You could go completely down the right side and max out its accuracy stats. This will make it on par with the maxed out MP40 while narrowly beating out the Sten and only falling short to the ZK383 with the best accuracy out of all the SMGs, so not all too bad. Another option is instead Instead of choosing the improved accuracy while on stationary fire, you can hop over to the left side and choose the recoil buffer which gives you less upward recoil. You'll lose out to more than just a ZK383 this time. You'll fall short to a max out control stat at MP40. You'll end up tying the EMP and the MP34, but you will beat out the rest of the SMGs. 
The third option you can do since the gun is again pretty well rounded with those accuracy and control stat stock is to equip both the hip firing stats. The gun can still hold its own everywhere else stock and you can just go around and hit fire with that high rate of fire while still being able to aim down sights to take out a target who's further away. So there's a lot of different ways you can morph this weapon to better suit your play style. I suggest going back and forth and see what works for you. I found for me that completely maxing out its accuracy stats work the best. So that's where I have it right now. But it might be different for you. So you need to go find that out and see what works best for this gun. Because again, you want to figure out how to manage that really low damage output. Which I think is really only the major flaw for this new gun. Yes, the magazine size can at times feel like it's depleting faster than using other SMGs. But... Once you start taking advantage of its solid control and accuracy stats, you'll find this is not all too bad of a gun on the battlefield. But let me know what you guys think about this new weapon down in the comments below. But I always appreciate you guys being here. I am living. I'll catch you guys again later.